Hello and welcome back to another video on this exciting world of computer vision. Today we are going to tackle the topic of image segmentation and we will show you how to do it with YOLO V8. But first let's make sure we are all on the same page. If you are new to computer vision you might be wondering what is image segmentation and why is it so important in the field of computer vision. So let's first have a brief overview of what it is and its importance in the field of computer vision. Image segmentation is all about breaking down an image into smaller pieces or segments each of which corresponds to a specific object or a part of it. This helps us understand the image in a much more detailed and precise way. We all know that YOLO V8 is a very popular object detection algorithm, right? But did you also know it can be used for image segmentation? That's right. With YOLO V8, you can train a model to identify and segment objects within an image. You might be wondering how to actually do all this with YOLO V8. We'll guide you through the process step by step because in this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to implement the YOLO V8 pre-trained model to predict on your image. We'll make sure you understand each step so you can confidently implement image segmentation on your own projects. So grab a snack, sit back and get ready to learn all about image segmentation with YOLO V8. So we are going to look at YOLO V8's documentation released by Ultralytics to start with our segmentation. So we have already seen this in the previous video of a complete guide to YOLO V8. If you haven't checked that video, the link is in the description. Please check it out because it'll give a lot of information of what is YOLO V8, how to set up the environment in your PC for implementing the YOLO V8 model and we'll be using a lot of that features in this video. So in this page on the left, as you can see, there are subheadings that will take you to different parts of the documentation. And here you can find the detection, segmentation and classification of the YOLO V8, right? So click on segmentation and it will take you to this page, right? So scroll down until you find the code right here. So in YOLO V8, there are three different operations that we can do. So we can train the model and we can validate the model. And the third thing is to predict using that model, right? So training is basically to train the model on your own custom database and validation is to check the accuracy, precision and other metrics of that particular model. And prediction is nothing but using that model to predict the images to create that masks and the object detection bounding boxes on the image, right? So what we'll be doing is using the code for predict. Inside the column for the code, you will find two different tabs. One is Python and one is CLI. CLI stands for command line interface. Yes, in the previous video, I have explained how YOLO V8 can be used just from your Windows or Linux command line. Commands for that particular usage are given in under CLI and Python is the Python code to load the model and implement it on the image. So we'll start with CLI. In CLI, we have two codes, right? We have the first line that is YOLO segment predict model is equal to and here are the weights and here is the source of the image that we are going to predict, right? But there's a small difference between these two codes. The first thing is used when you're going to be using the official model that is pre-trained. But if you're going with a custom model, then you will be going with the second code. But right now, since we are using the pre-trained model, we'll stick with the first one. So copy it. Let's jump right into our command line interface so that we can use this code. Open your Anaconda prompt and you will start with this base environment. In the previous video, I have clearly explained as to how to create a Conda environment and install all the dependencies inside that particular environment. So I'm going to be using that here. So the name of the environment is YOLO V8 hyphen test. So we'll be using that here. So Conda activate YOLO V8 hyphen test and let's wait for the environment to load. And yes, here it is. So inside this environment, I have the list of packages that I've installed. So this is just a reference for you and I have explained how to install all this in the previous video, right? So check that out. 
if you want further understanding of how I made this environment. Yes, so inside this environment, we have all the dependencies installed. Now what we're going to do is we are going to paste our code right here. So we don't need the comments right now. Yes, and this is the image that is provided by Ultralytics for our testing, right? You can also give your own image, but first we'll check if this is working. And the moment I hit enter, right? So we also need to understand that we do not have the model downloaded. Ultralytics will do it for us, right? So we do not have the YOLO V8 N hyphen segment dot PT. So it will download it for you. So that is what is happening right now. The weights have been downloaded. The weights are loaded and the image is predicted and the results are saved to runs backslash segment backslash predict, right? So let's go check that out. And we know it's in C users Acer. So I'll go there. So this is my C users Acer. And inside that I have runs and inside runs, I have segment and inside that I have my predict and inside predict, I have bus.jpg. When I open it, as you can see, this is the image that has been taken from the internet and the segmentations are in place, right? As you can see, the segmentations are very clear and they are very accurate, right? So that's what makes YOLO V8 a very advanced object detection model and we're using it right now for image segmentation and it's proving to be one of the best. So we are going to be checking the same thing out with an image of our choice, right? So I will show you the image that I have. So inside my Acer, right? C users Acer, I have the picture that is Zidane. And I'll show you without the detections so that we can observe how the detections are. So this is the image, right? So we are going to send this to predict instead of this source. We are going to change the source to zidane.jpg and I hit enter. And now once the weights are downloaded, it doesn't download a second time, right? So once it's downloaded, it just uses it the second time and the results are saved to runs segment predict two. So we'll go there. So it's Acer. We have runs. segment and predict two. So inside this, we have Zidane. We'll open this. Yes, as you can see, we have the two, we have two persons and one tie that is detected. And inside that detection, we have the segmentation that is very accurate, right? So I hope you love doing this and we are going to be moving to the next level, right? So we are going to be using the Python program to do the same. Now what we did is through the command line interface and we'll be moving on to the Python program now. So I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code to write my Python program. And so first I need to create it. So I'll create it here only in C users Acer, right? So I do have all my images here. So it'll be easy for me. So I'll be creating a new text file which is yolo v8 hyphen segmentation dot py. So I'll open this file, save as, I'll make sure this is saved as a Python file. I have my Python file right here. I'll delete my text file. So I will open this inside my visual studio. So file open. And in C users, Acer. I have my YOLO V8 segmentation. I'll open this. Okay. So how do we know what code to write? So we already saw that in YOLO V8 documentation website that for predict, we have the Python code, right? So this is a very simple Python code. And if you want a further explanation of how this works, we will go to the elaborated version of this particular code, right? So that is a very simple one and it doesn't give the, we cannot see the output from that code. So we'll go to this Python from the left side in under the usage column, right? So under usage, we have CLI, we have Python, we have predict configuration and everything. So under that we'll go to Python 
and we'll, if we scroll down we'll have this particular predict section right so in predict section we have from source and click on that tab and this is the code that we need right so we'll copy this and we'll put it inside our vs code and then we'll figure out what it means so the first three lines are pretty obvious so we are importing all the necessary packages that we need the model is yolo of model.pt so inside this model.pt we need to change it to yolo v8 segmentation nano.pt right so that is the name of the weights that we downloaded so we'll check that out right now so it's yolo v8 n hyphen segment okay so it's yolo v8 n hyphen segment dot pt so this is the name of the model so we have loaded the model and the results are stored in model dot predict of source is equal to zero so there are multiple results here so what they are actually telling us is these are the possibilities of how to use the YOLO V8 on different sources. So source is equal to zero means you can use it in your webcam and source is equal to folder is inside a folder. If you have a lot of images, you can send that folder for the prediction. And this is using image and this is using an ND array and this is using a PIL or ND array, right? So we, what we need, is what we are going to be using is actually a JPG image. So this is sufficient for us, right? So these are different forms of input of that same image. So what we are going to do is we are going to comment out all the things that we do not need right now, right? So we do not need a webcam right now, right? So we'll comment that out. We do not need a folder. We just have one image. And image one is equal to image dot open of bus dot jpg results is equal to model dot predict of source is I am one save is equal to true right so save is equal to true is very important because if not then we cannot observe the detections that have been taken place and we'll comment all these as well or if you want you can erase them also since we need all the dependencies we we cannot run this from the VS code itself because we need to again download and install all the necessary packages. So what we're going to do, we already have the packages inside YOLO V8 test. So we are going to use Python inside this environment. So inside this type Python space YOLO V8 hyphen segmentation dot py and yes so the results have been saved to runs predict predict 3 and i will show you the image that we've taken so that is the bus it is the Im initial image that we've downloaded from the ultralytics website right so this is the image and in that image we will see the detections we'll go to runs we'll go to segment we'll go to predict 3 and there we have it we have image 0 we will try out another example so we'll go to our c users acer we'll see if we can find another image that we can perform our detection on we have dancer right so we have this image and we have another dancer right here right how do you change the image is inside image.open you change the name of the image so the name of the image is dancer and we'll save this in the command prompt. We will type the same thing again. That is Python YOLO V8 segmentation dot py. Hit enter. Yes, the results have been saved to run segment predict four. So let's check it out. Runs segment predict four. And we have the detection in place. As you can see, there's one person and you can see that the red is the person and the white is actually the natural color of the image and the image segmentation is very accurate that it does not consider the the extra the, the flow of the dress along the person it just takes the exact shape of that person and that is the accuracy of detection of yolo v8's image segmentation I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.